Hey everyone, I'm Sonia Tydinko filling in for Lucena Herrera. Today, we're gonna sit down with Latvia's finest. That's right, girls and boys, it's Andres Piedrins. So stay tuned, this is Warriors World TV. Hey everyone, I'm Sonia and I'm here with Andres Piedrins today. Andres, thanks for joining us on Warriors World TV. Thank you for having me. No problem. So how was practice? Good, you know, it was uh, really light, but uh, we went through a lot of stuff. Uh, since what things we did wrong yesterday, and we walked through and uh, worked on a couple of things. Okay, and I know that your minutes have been cut, you know, some compared to last year. So what kind of things are you working on in particular to earn those minutes back and boost your confidence? Um, I think the first thing is uh, kind of just get back in a little shape, you know. I kind of am in shape, but not not like in a game when you need like a timing and everything else. So that kind of comes with the time. It, you, you can't get it back so so fast. And uh, but you know, I just try to do those things: uh, rebound, block shots, and help my teammates. And uh, slowly building uh, that uh, playing time back. Okay. And uh, I saw you working on some free throws out there. Right. You made them, the ones I saw. Right. You know, I'm really trying to to work on those. And uh, the teammates are helping, coaches are helping, and we just try to find a. Uh, the best way for me how to find find a way how to relax on the line when I go there, you know. So because I get really kind of nervous when I step on the line, so that's my biggest issue. Just somehow to clear my head when I'm on the line. So I just think about the shot and with the right rhythm. So, but it's kind of coming along good. Good, good to hear. I heard um, that Nelly was going to make you do some underhands. Yeah, I talked to him, but you know, I said, Coach, uh, you know, just give me, uh, give me opportunity to work on those things what I really believe in, and uh, and so he said, all right, so kind of. All right, and um, so you played three consecutive summers with your uh, national team. Right. So do you think that maybe if you hadn't played three consecutive summers that? You would be in better health for this season. How, like, how much um, of an impact does it have on your NBA I, season? I think so, for sure. You know, I mean, of course, it takes a lot of energy and health away if you're playing every single summer. And uh, the, the, it's, I mean, it's really, it's pretty hard. We have two or two practices a day, basically for two months before the European Championship. So it's like a training camp, two month long, and twice a day. And every, you know, every practice is almost two hours. And takes away I think you know this injury what I have I think it's of course the what I did in the summer was kind of a big part of it why it happened. I read that you are qualified for a one-year penalty with the LBA so <laughs> can you tell us about that I mean you caused <clears throat> some trouble over there? Not, uh, not really you know it was um, I think you know the, the Latvian Basketball Federation they needed to make some some you know kind of make some moves because of our bad start. Like we played really bad in that European Championship and we didn't qualify for the next round and after three games we were out. And you know, obviously, some people said we didn't, we were not being disciplined, you know, uh, just preparing for the games right and kind of hanging out or that kind of stuff. But so that's why they um, disqualified the starting five. Okay, so that means you're not going to be able to participate next summer? Uh, I think they they still have a chance to kind of bring me back if they want to. Okay. You know, so. All right, so as a captain, how hard is it to stay positive in times of frustration from your injuries and from like consistent team losses? It is really hard. It is really hard, especially at times like now when uh, the team is really struggling and you can see that you know, other players are not happy at all, and obviously, I mean, that's normal. They would be upset, like how we're playing right now. But um, so there just have to be some person who kind of try to cheer them up and uh, a little bit. So at least they smile a little bit because it's hard to come to practice when everybody has sad faces on. So there is some guy, for example, me or Ronnie, who kind of try to joke around a little bit, just kind of make a little, little bit things better, kind of more positive. It takes a lot of energy, but it, it's, it's definitely worth it. Growing up, did you have any specific, um, any mentors or any idols? You know, I know you like to work with kids, so who, who did you look up to? It was hard for me. Um, I started playing basketball when I was six years old, and um, um, fortunately there was nobody from 
my contract was playing in the NBA and I didn't really have like a real model for my own country to lock up, uh, look up to. Um, so it was kind of hard for me to believe that I can really make it because nobody was playing here from my country. So it was kind of hard, but but you know we saw a couple of NBA games we, we couldn't see back then a lot of NBA games at all. So I saw a couple of them, but uh, the closest we had was Arvidas Sabonis from Lithuania. He was playing in Portland uh, a lot of years ago, and I was watching him because he was the closest from closest to our country who is playing in NBA. So it was fun to watch him. So you really opened up the doors for the rest of the rest of your country, really. Right. You know, I really, I really can't wait that day when somebody will join me from my country here and uh, play in this league. You know, I can, I really want to, and you know, I hope it will happen soon that somebody else is going to play here too. You can have that bond. Yeah, it's you know, it's really nice, and uh, you know, I came here and I hope like now little uh, basketball players back home they kind of can look up to me and uh, now they know it's possible because till then everybody thought uh, you know it's impossible to get there even myself too so um, I just hope that I will open eyes for a lot of young basketball players back home.